Hello guys, and welcome back to another building um, video. Now this one we're going to be working on coloring and what makes the build look the best. So as you see over here, I have a, it was supposed to be a Mario tube, um, and then I figured out that you could layer it around, and then I put one of the flowers from, I'm pretty sure, Mario Kart. Um, coming up out of the pipe, even though I'm pretty sure that doesn't happen. It's usually Mario and Lu Luigi. And I was gonna put, like, maybe one of their hats there, but then I was like, eh. But then, uh, you can jump down here, and there's, um, what is it? Sea lanterns, and there's water filling in, and there isn't, um, they're not all source blocks because I haven't gotten that far yet on this build because I haven't liked how the round of it looks. But we're going to get into making it, how to make it like a circle-ish. And this is what we're going to use to show you how to make the circle and make the shading look good on at least the tube and just kind of get a general idea of what it is. Now, I think the best thing for building is by trial and error. Um, the tube I built all by myself and the pixel art I went on the internet and figured it out. Um... I think if I had like a general picture, I could figure it out. But if we come over here to this cool thing, this is my circle of, uh, I guess you could call it doom. So it shows basically all of the um, circle, circular things that you can make. Because most people implant it into the ground first before they actually ever start building. Now I've figured out how to build a dome, but that will be for a different day. So, we're just going to go over here to this part, and I'll show you how to do it real quick. Okay, so I did a four. Okay, so I did four, five, four. Okay, so I can show you how to do it real quick. Um, we're going to do it out of, um, we'll just do it out of wool. So, you're going to do four, and then you're going to do two across, and then you're going to do one over, and then you're going to do two down. And then you're going to do the four, one, two, three, four, back over. But when you look at this, there is these two. So everything should be always looking back at you. So it's the four, two, one, two down, one, two, three, four, whoop, four, and then two down and the one. Now, it might be easier for you to make one of those circles over there um, to memorize it, or I just kind of memorized it, but it's pretty simple because e every direction you look at, it has that, so you could even make it so it looks like this, so you go one, two, three, four, go like that, is it about to come nine time? Um, you could just make it like this, so then you skip this and then you come over here. I think that's more work on yourself, but one, two, three, four. I think it's gonna run into my other circle here. Yeah, it's gonna run into my circle, but you get the gist. You would just add uh, the block right here. And this makes half of the circle. So that's basically it. That's a basic circle of it. Now to see uh, making it look good. So as you see over here, I made my circle too big, and I it probably would have looked better if maybe I made this a little bit taller. But as you can see here, I made it short and it's stubby, and it doesn't look that great. But as you can see over here, I used the same that I used here. So in the four by four there, I use uh, four by two by one by two. So if you don't understand what that means. Um, so the circles, there's four at the bottom here. I'll come over here real quick. Okay, so all of these have the four meeting here, but and then it goes by two, but then it adds on one of these small blocks right here to make it even bigger. So that's why there's only one here and there's a bunch here. But as you can see, I think this would be an epic uh, tube because if you see the height of it, it's not the biggest height that you want. You probably, excuse me, want to make it a little bit taller and have the lip going around, which the lip is I 
um, took it like three out um, you can kind of mess with it I usually do this by trial and error you can do three out you can do two out it just what I decided to do was three so then you just I can just basically show you with uh, this red stain clay you just literally go back over this and you fill in the little gaps and then you'll come down here and you'll re you'll uh, do it however far you want to go down um now with the coloring part of this now if for any build that you're gonna do you can figure out like people's favorite color or what works well but you gotta know the colors so this is the lime green and as I look at it it's not the prettiest and it's not like the greatest color you could ever do but it's it's good um, and I really do like the clay. It has like a clean look to it. You can't see all the lines and the blocks where they attach like glass. Now the glass, in my own opinion, probably would be the worst to build this tube with, but it was another green color. If you were ever going to do that, I bet you would need to fill it up with uh, water like I did over here. Um, then you have the wool, but then I'm pretty sure you have dark wool and you can put the lip over. And then you have the emeralds over here, which I don't know what you would put over the emeralds. I guess you could do a wool, or you could do maybe a stained clay, or something like that. But nobody's, if you actually want to make this in, like, uh, survival Minecraft, you're probably not going to use emeralds. Um, so, there's basically that. So, you just need to realize the height of it and everything. So, this is just for the tube, for the Mario, Mario tube. And, um, as you, as I said, it just depends on the color. So, if you would go on to, um, a picture over here. So, this is one of somebody that built, and they had the, um, Venus flytrap coming out of the tube. So, you can see the lips around it, and then you can see the height of it. Which, that's probably, um, I'm guessing it's, a uh, five, five of those little blocks across um, like I did here, but mine was just a lot more stubbier. I didn't make it as tall as they did. Either way, it still looks cool. So if you would want to make, um, say you would flip this over if you want, I don't know, if you want to make a giant hamster ball or something weird like that, you could probably flip it over and so that you would make it upwards and then you would count the four so the four would go on the floor, well, and then you'd have two over you get the gist of it, but you don't have to do it like this. You just need to realize this is just mainly a basic kind of memo of how to do the color and everything. The heightness needs to make it look good. If it's short and stubby like that, it's not going to be as appealing to people as the picture that I showed you over here on Google Images. This is a lot more appealing than this one over here. So you just got to get with the right height and you gotta get with everything color wise because as you saw there there's two different colors matching and then it goes up into the um, uh, Venus flytrap which is 3d also which I wouldn't say go for a um, go to a 3d um, image and then go to a 2d one I just thought it'd be cool to see what it would look like and I still like it like this um, I might, it would be cool to actually like flip this around even though I was one block off actually, but nobody would notice unless I would say something, um, cause that's supposed to be two, two, uh, green in the middle and then everything would even out, but anyway, so it would be even cool to put like one back here and like two on the sides just to give that look that all of them are coming out of the water or something like that, but it's just all about the right height and I will we'll be doing another one of these um, in a later video just reiterating it with a different build um, just I don't know if you maybe don't understand it too because this is just generally for the tube but you can kinda get the gist from it so like the coloring needs to be right so 
And this build over here, I'm pretty sure they used wool. So they used the dark wool and then the light green wool round. And that probably matches it, that, well, that it does match the tubes very well. But in the build that I did, it does not fit the build very well. Maybe it would have been better if maybe I took the darker color and then put the lighter color on top. It's just all about the coloring memo of it and deciding what you think fits. So maybe if I would have done that one and made it the same height as this, and then put the lip over, it would look better than it does now. But um, it's just all about how you create it and how you make it to look. So I thought it'd be cool to um, put, um, where is he? What a, get rid of the snipping tool, I don't know why that came up. Um, it would be cool to take, oh, where to go? I'll just come over here to, um, not like this Mario, but like, uh, somebody that actually did like a Mario, like a 3D head like that, just make his head coming up. And it's okay if you go onto the internet and Google things, as long as you're making it your own. I don't think it should be that big of a deal. Always get ideas from other people. So, yeah. So that will be my tutorial for today. For kind of knowing how to build a general circle, and how to do the right height, height and the right coloring. So I will be doing another one of these videos so you kind of get more of the gist to it.